Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial on the Source Engine um, C++ Programming Setup Tutorial. So, Valve just recently released the uh, Source SDK 2013, uh, the version for uh, for this year, uh, which is kind of cool as they haven't updated the code since 2007. Um, however, there are a few bugs in this uh, so far as it's just recently been released. They are still updating very like uh, commonly. So uh, that's a good thing. Um, this new version includes quite a lot of uh, cool stuff as um, you wasn't really you you weren't really able to code for the 2009 version of the engine before or uh, in fact edit uh you could sort of hack your way into uh uh modifying the uh, episode 2 uh game but you could not actually modify it properly uh but now this is fixed. You can do this with the uh, 2013 version. So, uh, yeah, before we start, I will include all of these uh, links into the description. And I will also um, now tell you a few things about this. Uh, as this is a very er early version of this uh, SDK, there are a few errors uh, when you're building this solution. Uh, this is mainly for the uh, tools. Uh, the game itself you can edit the source code of uh, quite simply. Uh, and in fact it is much much more easy to set up this uh, 2013 version than the last uh, version which I also have on my uh, YouTube channel uploaded. So anyway, now we've said this, we can go over to the next to actually starting um, the uh, the actual tutorial. So we're going to go over to GitHub. Um, I'll open this. Well, actually, I already opened it here, and he um, who controls this uh, this repository over at GitHub actually just uh, updated it two hours ago uh, which is good I guess they fixed well various missing files and uh, a few errors I guess because there are issues here as you can see uh, people have already uh, complained but using the git system instead of the old system I guess is a very good uh, method for getting uh, uh, feedback and uh, mainly to fix well fix uh, everything so there are two ways you can uh, actually start off now I will uh, make a tutorial uh, tomorrow uh, which goes over uh, the uh, git system uh, which is kind of better in some ways and uh, the only thing that is uh, bad about it is that it's a bit um, more confusing. So, for now we're going to download the zip file, which I've already done. So, let's just open this. Source SDK 2013master.zip So, what are we doing here? Well, this includes quite a lot of files you don't need all of these files. Um, I recommend actually having these uh, files in your mod because I think that's actually required from the source license. Um, however, these are the m important files for actually uh, getting the uh, mod to work. These are just text files. So, you go over to your desired uh, mod uh, folder. So I already have 
a folder called mod here and then we will delete that test folder as that is not yet supposed to be here but for some reason it is so let's make a new folder called test mod and press enter so now we have a new folder let's yeah there we go now that's out of the way you can also yeah that's a good thing about this uh, this new version uh it includes multiplayer support and it's uh very easy to implement as well i might actually do a tutorial on that later but for now we're going to cover the uh single player part so this is multiplayer and this is single player go into single player and if you want to get into multiplayer you might just do that right now because I think that is very similar to the uh, s single player um, single player uh, setup so you just want to actually uh, go in here no okay you have these files and just want to copy those over there and that's how simple it gets really uh, you uh, wait for this to complete and while we do that we'll go over to here library and then you go to tools because in here there's actually an essential part of this you want to scroll down until you find the source SDK base 2013 and obviously you have the multiplayer here as well uh, but for now if you're making a single player mod you want to install this, uh, run it through. You don't necessa necessarily need to run it through, but I uh, think you have to open the uh, thing. It's basically a stress test uh, that checks your uh, system uh, so Valve can get some uh, feedback on uh, what their customers are using. So anyway, after you've installed this uh, single player base, you will end up with a folder um let's see if i can find it let's go in there your base your steam apps folder which is basically where you've installed steam steam apps and then you'll be around here you'll find a folder called common and then you go in there and you find the source sdk base 2013 single player in here you have the agile2.exe which is the executable file that your mod will run on so just keep that open for later because we will need this uh, this path to find this um, executable file so now we've also got these files from the uh, zip fo folder here we have uh, got both the game and the uh, SRC. The SRC is uh, where all the source code is. We'll open a few of these uh, things later. And then you have the game. This is basically a uh, temporarily um, place for your mod to be. So uh, we're going to go with the mod episo episodic, which is the newest version uh, of the Half-Life games series uh, so we don't need this so I will just delete that it's basically just the same uh, really um, then you have the game info dot txt here this is as it says here my first episodic mod except it's not my first so what's the mod going to be called test mod for now, that's the name. Now, you have this Steam app uh, ID, which is uh, now set to the source SDK base 2013. Uh, this will be uh, automatic, uh, depending on what um, on what you uh, copied earlier. If I copy in this, it should actually be uh, the uh, the app ID for uh, for multiplayer instead. So that's I think that's uh, the case at least. So you might want to check uh, that 
otherwise. I think if you want a multiplayer mod, it's uh, 50 there instead of 30, so that's a simple fix. You can also just uh, look up at the uh, Valve developer community page as well, uh, all the uh, app ideas, uh, but anyway, everything else here should be fine. This will include all of the uh, game files from the Half-Life series, so you won't have to manually add those into your mod, because most mods are uh, are dependent on these files anyway, so yeah. So now we have edited all these files. Now, uh, not sure of what I'm thinking about there. Uh, we want to, now as we, yeah, we set up everything. So now we want to go into Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 Express. Now, I think this is actually the case, uh, I think the uh, C++ Express version is the reason that you might get error, uh, you might get errors on the, uh, I have no idea what my uh, accent is doing right now, uh, you might get errors in the uh, Express edition, but those, as I said earlier, are not a big problem. Uh, I think that actually might have been fixed in this uh, thing over here, oops, in this uh, newest commit anyway, so that's uh, not a big deal. So, you want to open project, and then you want to go into mods. Oh, my computer sort of froze then, oh, there we go. Uh, you go into test mod, SRC, and then you want to open this file. Now, I didn't actually download the lastest, lastest, uh, bleh, lastest, the latest commit over here, but uh, so I might end up with uh, errors when I do uh, the uh, the uh, build now. But I think this actually is the fix for this uh, this error. Uh, so uh, if you download the stuff uh, yourself it should be fixed already. So, as you see here, it's uh, preparing the uh, solution and all the uh, packages over here. As you see, this is sort of... these are all the files, uh, well, files I say, these are all the... all the tools and as well as the uh, actual game content itself. So this is going to take quite a long uh, time to load. Uh, so I will just stop right now and I will uh, see you when it's uh, done loading.